D-Man, oh, D-Man, oh, Bo Dominican York. What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Uh, let's get quick into it, man. I don't want to waste a lot of time. I got people I'm watching on YouTube, and I've muted them, and I want to get back to the show. They're live right now. Shout out to Norman Nation. Uh, pick these up from GBNY. It's a women's Air Jordan 3 Retro in the white varsity red lucky green women's ten and a half and youth nine a youth nine is equivalent to a men's nine if you didn't know that it's the women's white box you guys who are sneakerheads know what this is if you don't know it is a very famous colorway for 2023 See if I can do this right. We're looking at the Lucky Green Threes. I like these joints. I like these joints a lot. I like these joints a lot. Um, what can I say? I like threes. Threes are have always been really good for me. Because remember, I'm 47 years old. When these came out. I was, you know, just into my teens and, you know, 13, 14, and this was a sneaker that I wanted that I couldn't afford or mom was not giving me a hundred bucks or whatever it was. I don't remember, even remember the price, but she wasn't giving me that much money, you know, and uh, I was buying 40, 50, $60 kicks at the flea market on 181st and St. Nick, between St. Nick and Audubon or, you know, whatever was on sale. Whatever was on sale, usually that's Air Force Ones or some kind of Air Max. Some kind of Air Max from last season or an off-color or an off-color Air Force One. But threes are it, man. Of course, the, the white cement threes and the black cement threes are the ones that I... And the, and the uh, fire red threes are the three that I really, really adored. I didn't really learn much about the true blue threes until later on. But these joints are magnasty. You see, we start with the outsole classic Jordan 3 bottom. Your green pod. Great majority of a gray outsole with a sail center. The word Jordan across the middle. Not Nike because it doesn't have the Nike Air on the ass. Cement print is looking good. Let's take the other one out. See if the cements match. See, it's a little wonky. The cement print is a little wonky in terms of the cut. And you could even say that it looks thinner on the left shoe than it does on the right shoe. But to me, the variance is minimal. And even, I got three pair of white cement threes, reimagined that dropped. They all look different. Some of them don't look like they necessarily match and it doesn't bother me. It does not bother me one single bit. It doesn't bother me one single bit looking at the camera again. Sail midsole, crispy white leather on the toe strap. I mean, the toe box behind the elephant print on the toe strap and the, the mid panels. Your green little eyelet holes. This is just a clean shoe. I, mean, I, I wonder if what it would have looked like if they went with a green Jumpman Air on the back instead of the uh, silver, but I like the way the silver because it keeps the color somewhat subdued. Red Jumpman on the tongue. White fuzzy interior. White sock liner. This is the first time I actually took them out the box. I picked them up yesterday, or I got them delivered yesterday. Get my shoes delivered to work now. It's easier instead of, you know, not being at home and then not knowing if they're going to get picked off the porch. Let's see if I can get this out. Thicker. Oh, I know why. Bo, you're an idiot. Tissue paper. So very foam bottom, your regular foam bottom, not the dream cell tape where it was, the strings were, were taped down. 
It is a little thicker than your standard foam. Then you've got a, a white insole with a red jump man. See if we can take a look. Strobel footbed, very classic. Strobel footbed, good stitching all the way around. What was production on these? Production ran 822 to 1222. So they've had, Jordan brand has had these since last year. Surprised they didn't release them sooner. I don't remember if they were supposed to. But a clean shoe, guys. And a shoe that a lot of people say is an alternative alternative sorry to the sp4s right do we think that they have yeah it looks like the same green to me it really does it may come off a little different actually they may not be the exact same green i'm sorry seems like the lucky green's a little lighter wow feeling the back tab of these how flexible it is it's so weird on fours but you can see how the crisp stark white versus this eggshell white on the SB4s. And I love the gum hits on the toe and the heel. And yes, I just ordered a double up from Poison for 290 shipped. 290 shipped from Poison. Uh, they're, in, they're getting authenticated right now. So hopefully in the next couple of days, I'll get an email saying that they were authenticated and that I will be getting them in the mail. Oh, look, I never noticed. I forgot some gunk and glue right there. But these are not the star of this show. I just wanted to show how people are saying the Lucky Green 3s is an alternative to the SB4s. You know, you kind of get the same color, colors and the same look overall, where you get that Lucky Green look, even though this is not Lucky Green. Lucky Green and White majority. SB4s are banging. I bought a second pair because I want to dog the crap out of one. And when I say dog the crap, I really don't dog the crap out of them. But especially if I wear them to work, I work in a body shop now. If I wear them to work, when I hit the floor, you know, I'm, I'm an estimator. But when I hit the floor, you know, checking on work, taking pictures of vehicle parts scattered everywhere. There's dust, debris flying everywhere. Uh, my shoes come back dirty, man. I wore my Reimagined 3s to work. Those came back dirty. I just wore my Amma Manier 12s, the black joints today. Those were dirty. But the black, easy to clean. Uh, wore my Spider-Man 1s. You saw the TikTok. I had marks all over that midsole. Um, what else did I wear? I wore the... Um, I wore my Lost and Founds. I, wore one, I got two pairs, so I wore one of my Lost and Founds. I got one dead stock. But I wore my Lost and Founds. Those came back super dirty. And I had to be super careful cleaning those. Because I can see how the red can can run down into the white or into the midsole on the um, Lost and Founds. So you got to be careful cleaning those. And I've been going back to using my Crep Protect again. I mean, you, whatever you use, whether it's Crep or some another product. I just happen to like Crep because... I can catch it at finish line, I can catch it at Hibbets, I can catch it at most places that I, I visit, where I, where I go to purchase socks and all that stuff. Hey, but I hit six Yeezys. I hit two Carbon Belugas. I hit two uh, Onyx 350s, and I hit one uh, Onyx Slide, and I hit that one 450 Stone Teal. I've been wanting another uh, pair of 450s. I might end up grabbing another colorway to see what, what stock X or gold prices are because I do want another 450 colorway. I, I wish I never sold my black. I had the black carbon fill. I had the black 450s that I won, on, won last year's Yeezy Day. They're gone. I've sold every single Yeezy that I've hit over the last three years. Even the ones I've worn, I've ended up selling them. But let's see if I keep these uh, four... 350s. I am already looking to trade in two of them. One of the carbons, one of the onyxes, maybe for one of the JPAC dunks. Uh, if you guys, one of the JPAC SB dunks, and probably in that Chicago colorway. Um, they're selling them in my local resale shop at the mall for about 550, which is a damn good price. Brand Deadstock, brand new, nine and a half. 
so I won't get that snug fit I like, but it's my natural go-to size for the last 20 years, 30 years. So nine and a half, J-Pack, uh, Chicago, 550. So I might end up trading two of my Yeezys for that. And if I have to put a little bit of something, let's see, but hopefully not. But uh, these joints are magnificent. I can't wait to rock them. Cannot wait to rock them. And I ended up buying some Ye some Adidas socks and an Adidas hat to go with my Yeezys because I'm gonna keep them this time. I'm gonna keep them this time. So yeah, I ended up actually buying an Adidas hat and some Adidas socks to go with a Yeezy outfit that I put together. Um, wear them to work. I'm gonna wear my Yeezys to work. But tell me what you guys think. Were you guys lucky enough to, to grab a pair? They're still sitting up to a men's size eight and a half, which I almost pulled the trigger on the eight and a half, but I was like, nah. And then I saw that GBNY, shout out to GBNY. I'm sorry I didn't say that. I got these at GBNY. So it was a 200, no tax, free shipping. What a steal. What a deal. Can't go wrong with retail because right now I think on StockX and GOAT, these might be hovering 10, 20 bucks over retail. Plus, you pay that 20, 30 bucks in fees. You're at 240, 250. So, grab them for for retail. That was the that was the right price. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for hanging out with your uncle Bo. Que Dios, que Dios lo bendiga, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think, man. Love you. Peace.